Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video. And as you can probably tell from the tone of my voice, I'm really excited to do this one because um, the patch 5.4 was indeed data mined. So we have a lot of new information, not only regarding the Crisis on Ubarra storyline, but also some other really cool stuff that's gonna be added to the game. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of videos talking about the very different things. And the reason I'm doing different videos and not a fully uh, you know, compiled video is because some of them will contain spoilers while some of them won't. And this is one video that will contain very heavy spoilers. Not only will we talk about who the traitor is, but we'll talk about you know why he or she did what they did and also we'll We'll be talking about the Crisis on Ubarra storyline and what you can expect from that story arc. And so a whole bunch of really exciting stuff, but if you want to experience the story for yourselves, you want to go in, make your own decisions, learn about it within the context of the game, make sure you click off this video right now. Do not look in the comment section. Do not go anywhere near this video because we will be talking about very, very heavy spoilers. We'll be talking about spoilers from the War for Iocat storyline, which is what was released um, back with the last patch. We'll be talking about what's coming in the future and of course who the traitor is. So if you want to leave that to be surprised, make sure you click off this video okay I've literally done this narration like four or five times because I realized that I gave hints when I was just talking about the disclaimer about the spoiler and so I had to make sure I just gave no hints of who it is for anyone that just clicked on this video but anyways guys major spoilers click off uh, you, I think you've had enough time now so let's talk about who the traitor is and uh, basically the storyline that you can expect because I know a lot of people like like myself you know I went and read everything like I don't care about learning within the context of the story I've been wanting to know who the traitor is for months now I was really hoping they'd reveal it in the war for outcast storyline and I was kind of disappointed when they didn't however the traitor is the one and only Theron Sean so that's right your companion from way back in Shadow of Revan probably a companion who you spent a great deal of time getting to know and probably have developed some connections with and now you found out that they did indeed betray you. We don't quite know how far this betrayal extends back. So we don't know when it started. Like, did it just start on Iocath? Did it even start before that? But the basic thing is that Theron Shan has been sabotaging your alliance, has been working against you. So he is indeed in the war for Iocath, the person who sabotaged your eternal fleet, who prevented you from taking over Iocath. And we also know from that storyline that there was a lot of tension between Theron, Theron Shan and his father, Jace Malcolm, who is in charge of the Republic military so we saw that tension there and if you made the certain choices that led to Jace Malcolm's death that probably amplified those feelings even further because Theron Sean actively played a role in his own father's death and so all those interactions what that has led to is probably going to be revealed in the storyline itself we don't really have that much information as to when he started his betrayal or the various things he did to betray you However, we do have some information as to why he did it. Now, these are from direct quotes that I'll read out. So one quote is, look around you. The galaxy is trapped in a cycle of warfare. I once hoped the Republic would bring priests. When they failed, I put my faith in the Alliance. Now, if you were a dark side player for the, um, probably for Kotet as well as even the uh, War for Iocath, then he says this, but the eternal throne brought out the worst in you. Now you're a power hungry tyrant, a symbol of everything that's rotten in the galaxy. So basically Theron Sean's been looking at your actions, doesn't like him one bit because he's very much a light side character. He's very much kind of a Republic loyalist. He's always liked the Republic. And so um, he has noticed that you've been doing a lot of evil actions and has turned against you. However, if you were a light side character, so you made all the good choices, he still says this and he still turns against you. He says, but the Alliance outgrew you. Now it's rotting from the inside. The galaxy's fighting back and you have become a symbol of oppression. So much for your dreams of peace. So even though you made light side choices that Theron Chan would probably have approved of, he's against the Alliance in general and what it represents. So those are kind of his motivations. So now to give you guys a little bit of a hint of when he started his betrayal, he has this quote. He says, luring you into that trap on Iocath was just the beginning. Ever since you defeated Valkorion, everything I've done has been towards one goal. If we don't take drastic measures, war will keep spreading, killing entire civ civilizations and any hope for peace. But if I started a controlled burn, I will ignite an inferno that will destroy you and your eternal alliance. One spark is all it takes to end a cycle of warfare. Then he also says, did you ever love me or was it was that all part of an act? You know I love you, but this is bigger than us. So that's probably if you were like a character that romanced Theron Sean, that's something he would say to you. But the bottom line is it seems as though his betrayal started when you killed Valkorion. And ever since then, he kind of started to realize that the alliance isn't what he thought it was. And he's been working against you. And I'm going to be really surprised to see if he has done other stuff to hurt your alliance rather than just sabotaging the Eternal Throne during the war for Iocath.
That is a very surprising uh, betrayal because I think a lot of people expected it to be the Scions. Um, that was kind of the thing that was glaringly obvious. And I think maybe Bioware did that purposefully to throw us off the scent because they've made this a really big betrayal. And um, it seems to be embedded within the story. Like it wasn't something Bioware just came up with and decided, you know what, let's make Theron Chon turn against the Alliance. Like it seems it's something they were planning for quite a while. They've been maybe giving us some hints and some clues that it was him. But um, I think it's actually a pretty good motivation. I quite like the story arc it took because I never understood how Theron Chon could just turn against his father. And I took the dark side option. So my character literally killed uh, Jace Malcolm. And for Theron Chon to have to be there and see that, I don't know why he wouldn't turn against the Alliance. That's, I think that's something any sensible person would do. And so it actually makes a lot of sense to me. What doesn't make sense to me is the light side option. Or even if you romance Theron Chon. Like for him to turn against you and not maybe try to recruit you or something like that. Like just to straight up say, you know what, I'm against the alliance therefore even though you've made light side decisions all along i'm gonna try to kill you that doesn't make very much sense to me um but anyways the bottom line is theron sean is the traitor and it's gonna be really interesting to see how lana bonico reacts to that as well let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section because i know a lot of people like theron sean i mean you just got the ability to customize his character and now you're probably going to be losing him in the next storyline I don't know whether you'll get a chance to kill him or not. None of that has been revealed so far, but it's going to be really, really interesting. And so let me know what you guys think. Was Theron Chani your favorite companion? Are you really heartbroken to know he's leaving now? Or are you actually excited? Because I would never really like Theron. I quite like Lana Bonico. If Lana Bonico turned out to be a traitor, that's something I would probably be like, oh man, like I like that companion. But Theron Chan, I don't know. Now, aside from just talking about who the traitor is, that's about all the information we know. We can also talk about a little bit of the storyline of what you're going to be doing during the crisis on Umbara. So basically, the way the story is going to work is the enemy faction, which is the faction that you didn't side with on Iocath. They will collaborate with the traitor, who is Theron Sean, to get a stockpile of these crystals from Umbara. Now, these crystals can be used to build you guessed it, new super weapons. It's always about the super weapons. And at the beginning of the story, the Alliance agents pick up a signal from Umbara, uh, and basically the trader is gonna be transporting the crystals on a supply train headed for the capital city, and you need to enter the train and capture the crystals. So that's basically your mission, uh, the ultimate goal of the Flashpoint. You're obviously gonna be doing this with other players, so I'm not sure how the whole choices thing is gonna operate, because you might wanna make a certain choice, but then if the majority of your Flashpoint group uh, wanna make a different choice, and I'm not sure how that's gonna work, I guess we'll find out. And I guess that's kind of the end of the data mine information. We'll leave the rest to uh, to see you know what actually happens when patch 5.4 hits. A reminder, it will be hitting August 22nd, so not too far away. So if you're excited for the storyline like I am, uh, not too long to wait. Uh, I guess I'll end this video with reading a codex entry. The codex entry is entitled Theron Sean, the Evolution of a Traitor. So it's kind of a summary of what I've been talking about when it comes to why Theron Sean did what he did. So I'll quickly read the codex and then we'll end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, please leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what you guys think. I'm really excited to see how the community is going to take this um, because it's definitely a really big twist. Okay, here we go. So during his time in the Republic SIS, Theron Sean threw himself into the eternal fight for peace. He placed his faith in the Republic to push back the Sith Empire and restore freedom to an impressed galaxy. That faith was shattered when the Republic bowed to the Eternal Empire's conquest. His trust shaken, he instead turned to the Alliance and its commander to become the peaceful superpower the galaxy desperately needed. When the Alliance commander took the Eternal Throne, the wars didn't cease. New challengers rose to claim power for themselves. Desperate to heal the wounded galaxy, Sean realized the only way to stop the fighting was to eliminate the Source, the Alliance and its commander. So it kind of gives you guys a good sense of why Theron Sean did what he did, why he abandoned the Republic and joined you, and then why he eventually chose to abandon you as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.